Wakefield High School was the scene of Arlington's second Community Energy Forum Town Hall, part of an ongoing effort to create a long-term energy plan for the county. After months of work, the organizers were excited with this chance to present their findings to the public. We are here to present the preliminary recommendations of Arlington's Community Energy Plan. We're hoping to get good feedback and healthy dialogue from the public about some of the recommendations we're making to reduce Arlington's carbon footprint. And this is something we need everyone in the community to participate in, whether you live in a single family home, in a multi-family apartment or condo, whether you work in a big commercial building in Arlington County, we need everybody to participate in this. And as part of that, we'd like to have everyone understand the preliminary data we're working with, how we're reaching for the goals, and how we're going to achieve them over the next 30 or 40 years. Years. Tonight's our second of two energy town hall meetings where the Community Energy and Sustainability Task Force is coming out to the community and uh, asking for their opinions, their thoughts, their ideas as we move this process forward to create a community energy plan. You know, what are your thoughts in the community about the initial preliminary recommendations and what are the other ideas do you have that we need to be thinking about as we move this process forward? This is a plan, a community energy plan projected to be implemented with goals to 2050. Actually getting your arms around a plan that you know you may not even be alive when it's finished, it's really hard for people. It's hard for me, it's hard for community members to actually project that far out into the you know two generations down the road. But our community is one of the few I know of capable of doing long range planning like that taking into account what we want this community to look like, how we want it to function, how we want the energy to be generated and distributed, and how we want to protect the environment 40 years down the road. And it's a community effort that's getting noticed by some of our neighbors. Well, I'm actually a member of the uh, task force in Falls Church that's working on our climate change plan, and I've been following the Arlington Community Plan closely. It's a terrific plan. We'd very much like to coordinate our efforts with Arlington and uh, follow the leadership that they're providing. We do things big here. We think big. And hopefully, by our success creating a community energy plan, we will influence others, both in this region and beyond, to do similar things. We cannot solve the greenhouse gas, the climate change, the energy problem ourselves. We know that. But we can create a much smaller carbon footprint and a much more competitive office, commercial office sector, business sector, lower prices for tenants. We can do all that right here in our own community, make our contribution to the environment, and lead by example and encourage others to do the same. So that's what today is about, sharing the preliminary recommendations, getting feedback, and opening this process up wide, because this whole community's got to buy in to make this happen. If you would like more information, we have a very um, useful website, arlingtonva.us backslash energy plan. You can find our preliminary recommendations there. You can find all sorts of um, data and information that we've um, accumulated over the last nine months. Um, and we'd be happy to hear from you. There's a comments link on that webpage as well.